There's plenty of legal case management systems out there, but to be honest, many of them are outdated. Trying to do simple things like adding a custom field might not be possible. In today's video, we're going to talk about how we can build a much more flexible case management system using a tool called Softer on the front end and Airtable on the back end. Hi, I'm Dan Lehman from AutomationHelpers.com, and we help companies get automated by creating portals, apps, and integrations. If you haven't gotten started with Softer yet, you can do so for free using the affiliate link in the description below. Inside of Softer, let's click to add a new application. We'll search for legal and we can see this legal case management. We're going to use Airtable on the back end, but you could use Google Sheets as well. Let's click on here. We can preview the different screens of our application and we'll use this template. And now you'll need to choose a data source. We're using Airtable and you'll need to authenticate for the first time. Press continue. And now let's copy our base. So we can see that Softer has automatically provisioned this base for us and it's got the information that we need to get this set up. The first thing that we have are members. Members are going to be the users who actually log into our Softer application on the front end. You can see here that there are two different roles for these individuals. There are lawyers who are working at our firm as well as the clients. Next up, we have cases. And in the cases, we can see the different status of our cases. We're showing summary data about our billings. After that, we have contacts, and the contacts might be other people involved with our cases. We've got judges, opposing parties, opposing counsel. Next, we have billing. This allows us to log time against the cases so that we can bill our clients. And finally, we have case documents where we can upload documents pertaining to our case. Back in Softer, let's click to go to our application. And now we're inside of Softer Studio. This is the area where we actually configure the application. We can change the look and the feel of how this works. You see these different icons and this indicates who's able to see this. So are they logged in users, non-logged in users? Do we only want the lawyers to see it? Do we want the clients to see it? Let's go ahead and preview our application, which allows us to view this as our clients or as the lawyers would. So right now you can see that we're a non-logged in user. So we just get this landing page. However, we could log in and see what this experience looks like as a client. So when a client logs in, they see very little information here. They see information only pertaining to their case and they can click in the case to view details about it. Here's our high level data about the case. If we scroll down, we can see case documents and we have a form to add new case documents. Now let's go back to our dashboard and preview it this time as if we are one of the lawyers, Nicholas. So now Nicholas is on that same dashboard, that same homepage, and what he sees are a list of the cases that he has and the current status of them, as well as a billing overview of how much has been billed against these different clients. He can also click into those cases and be able to see the same information about each individual case. So let's talk about how we can tweak this to make it our own, because even though there's a template, it's very easy to configure it. We could add different pages here. On a given page, we can click this plus button to add different blocks. So we've got these dynamic blocks that are actually pulling that information from Airtable. But one of the things I was thinking about was this billing overview. This shows all of our cases and all the finance information associated with all the cases. Is that something we really want all the lawyers to see? Probably not. This is something where I'd expect maybe it's only available to the managing partner. So back in Airtable, let's change the role of one of these lawyers like Natalie. Let's say Natalie is the managing partner of this firm. Back in Softer, we can go to our users table. And this is where we have all of those users, again, are being synced from inside of Airtable. So all the people who are part of this members table show up inside of Softer Studio. Now, in terms of our user groups, if we click over there, you can see that there are two user groups already created, one for clients and one for lawyers. And let's take a look at this logic for a second if we edit this. So we have options where we can add users manually if we just wanna say these are the lawyers of our firm, but we could also do this dynamically. We could have different conditions where we say, if the role is lawyer, then automatically make them a part of this lawyer user group, which then we can use for different visibility roles. So because we just added that managing partner, let's go ahead and add a new user group. We'll call it managing partner. We'll choose that role. And if the role is managing partner, let's go ahead and save that. Next, let's go back to our homepage and we'll scroll down to that block where we have our billing overview. Let's click on that and we can go over to the visibility settings and this is where we can say only logged in users can see this block, but more specifically right now, only the lawyers can see it. We don't want the lawyers to see it. So this is where we can X this out. And instead we'll say only the managing partner can view this billing information. So now if we're logged in as one of the lawyers, we only see the cases on that dashboard. 
But if we're logged in as Natalie, then we can see the billing overview. Now, another thing that would make sense to do is that when we click into an individual case, that we have the ability to actually see and add the billing records themselves. If we're a lawyer, we need to be billing. We need a place to track that. So I'm not sure why this isn't in the template already, but this is a quick fix. We can add this. So let's go to our case detail page. And under our case documents, this is actually a duplicate. We don't really need this twice, the form in two different places. So let's go ahead and delete that. And now let's add a new block here. And this is where we're going to have our billing. So to do this, I think it would make sense if we choose a table and then we need to use our data source and we're gonna choose our billing table. And now let's tweak these fields a little bit. So we've got this cases copy. We don't really need that. Let's move up our case and we'll change this cases copy. Let's show the staff. And then our status has changed to text. And we're gonna map this to our hours and let's delete this rating field. And then we could go into our actions where it says add record and we could add a little form here. In the form, we could map this as well. We probably wanna change the button to say add time or add billings. And there you go. If we scroll down and we're logged in as a lawyer, we now see this new table that's listed here. And that's how easy it is to be able to add different blocks to make this system really your own. Go ahead and get started with software today by clicking the link in the description below.